Ron, the COVID-19 crisis has disrupted everyone's lives for more than two months. I just posted, I can't believe we're in week nine of quarantine, but we're still getting a lot of questions from viewers on how you catch it. You know, Aisha, as you know, we are where Atlanta speaks, and tonight we are breaking it all down for you folks, giving you facts and not fear. You can catch the coronavirus from contaminated surfaces or from being close to another person. But public health experts worry about one more than the other. Person-to-person -person contact spreads the virus more easily and is harder to prevent. Both of these risks start at the same place, inside the nose of an infected person. The virus tricks the human body into making new copies of itself, and those copies can catch a ride out in the tiny particles in the breath. Just calmly breathing or talking, this person emits particles that can carry the virus. Now you have seen these if you have ever breathed onto a cold window. If we zoom in on the kind of droplet that can come out of that person's mouth, you'd find a bunch of copies of the virus floating around. The amount of viral particles in droplets is called the viral load. The more virus that gets into your body, the more likely it is to infect you. Contaminated droplets like this one can scatter all over the place in a sneeze. But for you to get infected by touching that, <coughs> a lot of stuff has to go wrong. You'd have to touch it soon enough that the virus hasn't died, which can be hours or as much as a few days, depending on the surface. Then you'd have to touch your own face somewhere and let those copies of the virus in. But you also have a second chance to wash with soap or sanitize before that happens. But you get no second chances with person to person spread. If the droplet comes out and you're close enough, they get in. That's the ball game. Most health experts think you should give people at least six feet. More is better because sneezes and coughs can shoot droplets much farther than that. You can also help nip this risk by leaving your house prepared. Face coverings can trap the droplets so they don't reach other people. 